Hello. So in this module, we will talk about the MOS structure and we will define three important uh, regions of operation of this metal oxide semiconductor structure. So here, the first uh, part of the figure, you see that there is a polysilicon gate, uh, silicon dioxide, which acts as an insulator, and there is a P-type semiconductor. So there is a metal oxide semiconductor, and uh, there is a voltage applied between gate uh, and the body of this uh, structure. And that voltage is called as gate voltage, Vz, and it is less than zero volt initially, and we'll say that it is negative. So when such voltage is applied, uh, you see that uh, because of the negative voltage applied on top of that gate, there is a negative charge carriers here and the positive charge carriers present in the p-type body of the structure those get attracted towards the insulating layer here so so insulating layer of silicon dioxide separates the poly gate and the p-type body so you see there is an accumulation of those charge carriers because we apply the negative charges uh, on the gate because of this voltage. So this process is called as accumulation process of this structure where negative charge carriers accumulates, attracts the positive charge carriers and those uh, charge carriers gets accumulated near the interface between gate and the body. Now, Moving on to the second step or next step, you increase the gate voltage slightly above the zero volt. So it is now positive, sufficiently positive. And because of that, you have positive charge carriers uh, that gets there on the gate, polysilicon gate. So you see here. And this voltage is greater than zero volt, but uh, less than a critical threshold voltage, Vt. We'll define and explain in a moment what is that voltage. So now when such bias condition is there, the positive charge carriers which got accumulated in the first step, they get start repelling towards the down region of the p-type body. So this process is called depletion. And this region, is called as depletion region where there are no charge carriers and the positive charge carriers earlier got repelled or depleted out of this region. So third and the final step, you increase the gate voltage even more so that it overcomes this critical voltage now called as threshold voltage. So that is the threshold voltage, uh, which is also called as turn on voltage for the mass structure. So what happens when you increase the further the gate voltage, now you have many, many positive charge carriers as compared to the second step. You have a lot of positive charge carriers on the gate. And due to that action, the negative charge carriers in the P-type semiconductor, which is a body that gets start coming up, coming up and accumulating near the interface between gate and the P-type body. So you have uh, positive charge carriers on top of gate and just beneath the oxide layer, you have a sufficient number of charge carriers, uh, which are negative charge carriers. And still here, this empty region is depleted of any charge carrier. You don't have any charge carrier. So that's called depletion region. And just below the interface of the, uh, below the, below the layer of the oxide is called as inversion layer. So you say that it's called as inversion because the channel or this region has been inverted from positive charge carriers now to the negative charge carriers. So there are three steps, Vg is less than zero volt, Vz is between zero volt to threshold voltage and Vg is greater than threshold voltage. So this threshold voltage, which is also called as turn on voltage of the mass structure depends on two factors. Number of, first is the number of dopants into the body. So if you have 
less number of uh, if you have a less number of positive uh, dopants in the body it means you have sufficient number of negative charge carriers also available in the body so the threshold voltage will be less but if you have a heavily doped body with P-type charge carriers so that the number of negative charge carriers are less in number, so you, the turn on voltage or threshold voltage of that structure will be higher. And the second factor that the threshold voltage depends on is the oxide thickness. So you see that there is a silicon dioxide here and the thickness of that also determines the value or the magnitude of the threshold voltage. Usually, this threshold voltage is positive, as we have seen in this figure, but you can actually engineer it to be a negative. So that is achieved by doping concentration in the body and uh, modulating the thickness of the oxide to create such mass structure.